Okay, girl, it's time for our list. I'm sure you have pen or pencil. I'm sure you have your notebook, so let's get started. First of all, of course, is Bible. And of course, with Bible, you're going to draw or write something that you'll take a picture of and send to me. Second thing, of course, is Scholastic, where you will read two books, watch a video, do an activity, and with that activity, you want to be sure to send me a picture of it. Now, kindergartners, you're working today with brushing teeth, and first graders, you are working with rainbows and drawing shapes. That activity will make sense, I think, once you actually read the directions and start to do it. Kids A to Z, of course, there will be an assignment there. Do the assignment first and then go to level up. Math. You have a video to watch for math that will go through your work to do, and you're going to send me a picture of your fourth page. And then your fifth job is your extra lesson. And both of you, kindergarten and first grade, you have something a little bit more today. All right, first graders, you can follow along as I review this for kindergarten. Get yourself a little extra practice. Kindergartner, same thing as last week. You're going to cut these out, put the pieces into your bag, and then sort them to find the match. So last time, all the words ended with at. This time you have an and also ad. So a n fan. And when you look at the pictures, you can see here's the picture. So when it's cut out, you're going to put the picture of the fan next to the word that says fan. Here's d, ad, dad. You can find the one that looks like dad. P, an, pan. You have one here that looks like a frying pan. S, ad, sad. You have a picture down here of somebody who looks very sad and crying. M, a, n, man. You have a man here. P, ad, pad. This is like pad of paper. So you have a picture that when they're all cut out, you can put the word pad next to the picture of the pad of paper. V, an, van, mad. Mad. You have someone who looks angry. K, an, can, you have something that looks like a can that food might come in. You're actually cutting those out and putting them in the bag that has a sort labeled. You'll see these letters on the bag. It's going to say add and an just like the endings of all those words. So kindergartners, you can go get started on that now. You can be all finished with this video. First graders, you have something new today. You're also going to be working with a bag. Your bag should, instead of saying add an an, your bag is going to say C, V, C for consonant, vowel, consonant, C, V, C, E. So that's what's on your bag. You can go ahead and pause the video if you need to get that bag out of your package of materials because you're going to need it along with your scissors and this paper right here. So first graders, you're going to be cutting these apart and this is going to be a bit of a job today to get all this cut apart because they don't like to cut apart very neatly. So I would suggest first of all just getting them cut like this so they're mostly, you know, so they're separated. And then go ahead and trim up the edges. Now, you can see on mine that I have some sticking out here. I'm not even going to worry about that because there's so much to cut out today. I'm not, I want to be fairly careful, you know, otherwise it won't work right. But I'm not going to worry about getting every little bit cut exactly. So here I have it cut like this, and I think all of you guys have used these in the classroom before, right? 
So we take this thing here and we fold it down over. And when it's folded over, we have the word k -ap. Do you see how that's consonant, vowel, consonant? Cap. It's a closed syllable with a short A sound. But then when we lift the flap up here, it becomes consonant, vowel, consonant, E. And this E is silent, gives its power to the A to say its name, so we have k -ape. That's why your bag has consonant, vowel, consonant, slash, consonant, vowel, consonant, E, because each of the words you put in there can be both. It can be a consonant, vowel, consonant word or consonant, vowel, consonant, E. So you have vowel, consonant, silent, E, or A, magic, E. So boys and girls, you're going to cut each of those apart. And then once they're all cut apart, or maybe one at a time, as you cut them apart, read them, and then you can store them in your bag because you're going to be reading these several times this week. It's not just going to be for today. So you want to have it saved in your bag so that it's easy to find for later on. All right, Spider and Lily especially. It's a little more work for you guys today than you have done other days. You're doing this job instead of doing the comic story.